what's up guys welcome to another video um, this time I have my second and final ion project for you uh, if you have seen my other videos you will see the uh, other ion that I had it was my first ion project which was a lot of fun to, to put together but after using it and having no problems with it at all you know I just decided to see what I can get for it by putting it online or putting it locally to see if somebody would be interested in, in, in buying it and after a couple of weeks a couple of low balls here and there you know you know how Craig's, Craigslist is but somebody actually came forward and paid asking price for it so I was basically able to sell it for the price that I actually put into it the work I put into it and the, the pieces I was able to get into it and I missed how the ion shot and how it felt so um, I wanted to build myself another one now this one is my second one and I'm gonna have to say it's my final one my final one I mean it was a lot of fun to do but this one actually took a year or over a year to complete now some of you might be saying like what why is it taking way too long to build a gun um, definitely I, I could have made it a lot sooner or completed it in, in about a month but one thing I did not want to do was go online basically pay full retail for brand new pieces or you know this and that even though I, I, I'm planning on keeping it I mean this is this one I'm definitely keeping I didn't want to pay full price or if if something happens or I, I want to sell it you know I'm definitely not going to get my money back if I paid full price you know all of you ION users there out there or, or people who've had experience selling an ION uh, you're definitely not going to get the amount of money that you put into it so basically that's the reason why it took me a year um, only because I would search online Craigslist um, you know on the fields I would talk to people or basically you know all the other online sites out there from people who were selling uh, different types of guns uh, mostly ions and what I would do is if it was a really good price I would buy it take the pieces that I that that I needed swap it for other pieces that I had and resell that one so basically I would get you know the pieces that I needed for uber cheap or almost free and you know how long that can take you know uh, for you people who, who who views or who go through Craigslist you get some funky or funny sometimes annoying posts out there you know I'm not the type of person I'll be putting an ad on Craigslist and and like let's say for example for an example an ion a stock ion for $200 um, only because it, it, it can rip and I, I put five hundred dollars worth of, of upgrades in there so that's why it's two hundred bucks or anything like that like you know that I had to sit through or skip those and wait for actual good prices so basically um, like I said this took a year most of the parts here are are used or you know came from other other guns uh, one thing that I well the first thing I wanted to talk about was the frame this one is the, the Sith frame I've tried a few other frames, you know, like the ANS uh, frame. It was a good, durable frame, but a little too bulky for me. It was too big, too, too, too thick, and you know, I didn't like it. Another frame that I had was actually like the uh, this this um, Scorpion frame. You know, it, it was nice. It felt really nice. Uh, I like the snatch grip right here. The way it comes out, it looks pretty, you know, aggressive. It looks different. The, the extra space right here on the on the trigger card for for using it um, putting your fingers through your meaty hands and whatnot uh, one thing I did not particularly care for was how long this 90 degree uh, reg mount was because of this added space it would make the the reg longer and as you can see here it's definitely <laughs> longer than ASA and um, even though it was, it, it felt nice. I wasn't too fond of it. So basically, that's one of the reasons I stuck with this Sith frame that I 
that I have now. Um, I would have preferred all blue to basically match most of the gun, but you know, who am I to complain? It's a it's a pretty cool blue to silver fade, a little bit lighter than than the rest of the gun. But hey, you know, pretty good. Um, if I wanted to put gauges, I can put it on on either side. Um, I'm really liking the the angled reg mount. It, just only because it's different and it makes it a little bit more compact. Um, you know, so I'm so I decided to stick with this one. Uh, this one is the critical trigger. As you've probably seen from my other videos talking about critical triggers, I I like how they feel. I find them to be um, responsive and you know high quality. Basically, you know, I mean, what more can you ask for in the trigger? You know, um, let's see. This body actually is new. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to get a body like this was the, the bolt out back. Just to make it a little bit easier when you want to do maintenance uh, instead of having to take apart the gun. And some of those some of those bodies are not truly bolt out back like this one that I that I have. Yes, I have access to it, but I have to take out the donut, blah blah blah, whatever. And this one actually I don't need the donut. There's they they improved their design in the back. So I can basically unscrew this, take this, take this cap out get to the bolt, do do my business. Um, another thing that I had to buy new was the breech. Don't really find too many auto cocker breeches out there too often and this one I had to buy online because after waiting a few months and missing out on on, on online posts I decided to just uh, get the breech as opposed to using the stock ion barrel or getting a whole new barrel kit you know two barrels for different bores I decided to just get this one use the barrels that I had so I didn't have to worry about carrying different barrels and if I wanted to use this one just swap it out with the other gun that I was basically using this one very basic standard um, self clamping feed neck nothing too special nothing you know it's not like a critical or a CCM but hey it does its job you know, I got no problem with it. Um, inside, your typical L7 bolt with QEV. Basically, the the two that's two upgrades that um, make the most significant improvement in 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 the gun. Um, inside, actually, I is the one of the fun that I, the most fun I had was with the board. The board that I had before this was. Um, a virtue board, definitely a nice board, no no complaints or anything. Um, but as you can see here, with the Sith frame, there is a spot here for for the membrane pad. And as you may know, the the redefined board, you can't really use the the membrane pad. So while I had the virtue board in there, I actually took hot glue, put you know filled in this cavity right here just to plug it off, so that when I do use it, you know dirt won't go in through it and, and get stuck on the board or moisture or you know pain whatnot whatever else so I, I plugged that out and two weeks ago I came upon a deal from a guy with uh, ions an ion and a couple of um, pieces parts and one of them was the the Tadao Raider board now, I've never seen a, a Raider board before but I after looking at it making sure that it works and looking at the manual one, a few features really popped out at me. One of them was the membrane. It had a spot for the membrane. Now I had to do a little bit of modification to get it to fit because the one on the board had two pins, whereas the, the older virtual board had three pins or the membrane adapter actually has three pins and it wouldn't really fit. So what I had to do was go to um, some pieces that I had uh, from the, I don't know if you remember this, this is for the Prophecy, the RF or the Magna Loader. Um, you know, to be able to to sync it with 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 your gun. But anyway, um, it came with a couple of harnesses. So I just happened to look inside, and I saw a two a two pin to a three pin connector. So that's why I, I decided to you I used it only because it fits, and that's what I had. I didn't have to spend any money on trying to get um, getting them to work. Um, Another harness, or another thing that the Raider board that, that that it has, what I really liked was for the LED. 
you know, something a little bit different. So I, <laughs> I used another harness from, from here and I used the same one and stuck it to the board just to be able to have that little custom work. So instead of just um, putting pieces together and saying this is my project, I did it. So I can technically say I did a little bit of custom work. So now I can basically say, hey guys, this is a, a one, of, one of one ion, so this is worth 700 bucks. You know, that's, sorry, that's a little bit of a pet peeve that I, I, I see sometimes, or I have, regarding some of the posts out there. You know, just because it's a different color, you put it, swap it, you can claim it's a, a one on one and, and make it ultra special. But anyway, um, going back to the gun. Yeah, so basically I use the LED, and right now I have red in there and let me see if you can see it right there so right now I have one LED in there I'm thinking about maybe putting two to, to allow me to look at both sides if I ever need to make sure that it's on or whatnot or just to make it a little bit brighter with 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 the grips um, nothing too fancy it doesn't really do anything in terms of the performance of the gun but just to be a little bit different and to say that hey this is what I did I was able to do it and use it to its full potential you know with the membrane pad and whatever else it was supposed to be designed for but yeah that this is this is my final ion project it was fun and um, thank you for watching I hope this was a little bit in intriguing or enjoyable for you I hope I didn't bore you too much with a lot of talking about an ion an outdated gun uh, but I just wanted to share what I did with 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 this ion and just to keep the love going out there with ion you know and there's quite a few ion haters still but you know I like the uh, the look of this I'm pretty pleased with this project and uh, thanks for watching if you if you like it um, definitely hit like or if you have any comments about ions or any experience that you had with building ions and and some of the things that you liked or the parts that you you came across that you liked uh, definitely comment, post, whatever. Just to, you know, share some, share some experiences, share some uh, ideas or or uh, reviews on them. Please feel free to do that. Again, thanks for watching. Um, see you out there in the field.